Well, hello everyone once again. More sort of beginner acro stuff here. And this is a part, this should have probably come first, but I knew how much people would be like, oh, we want to do rolls and flips and go upside down and stuff. So what I want to talk about today is throttle management and throttle management through practicing proximity flying. Now, exactly how much throttle you need to give for anything is going to depend vastly upon your props and your motors and your uh, yeah, mostly props and motors, flight controller settings. Now if you get in a situation where you literally can't find that situation where you're, going, you're either going up or you're going down and there doesn't seem to be an in between, Throttle Expo is your friend. And I did do a video that touched on this. Uh, and I'll, I'll link it somewhere up there. So, so you need to get it so you can at least be confident you can keep an altitude. Now, depending though on the angle that you're flying, I, your forward pitch, it might be that it doesn't quite keep right. So this is when you've got this little thing, you see what I'm doing, I'm sort of just pumping the throttle a little bit. And this is something whoop, <laughs> you can do if it's, it wants to drop or it wants to go up because of the attitude you're keeping on rather than anything else. It's particularly useful when you're trying to keep low and that sort of constant speed might take you slightly over. But what I want to talk about today is like practicing. How do you, how do you keep that altitude? Obviously if you're up here and you're like, am I flying at the same altitude? Yeah, might be. I mean, if you've got a barometer, you'll know. So I was going to talk about um, using things like trees and cover oh, to keep where you are. So I've got a bunch of trees here and sort of my first sort of pass of it would be if I can see them out the side and you see I'm not going too fast, I'm not going too crazy, what I'm just trying to do is making sure they stay about the same and then as you get more confident you can use that same thing to sort of go lower. Now I would say use the ground all the time but sometimes the ground can be a little bit deceiving about exactly how high you are at any one time but it's also great fun once you get sort of oh, into it oh, that's a dodgy RF area here to use those trees to your advantage and I've got like a path here so paths are great because you can kind of follow it all the way down and try and keep that that altitude absolutely constant and make sure when you're in your turns you also try and keep that constant altitude so you don't want to be see I came up just a little bit there you don't want to be coming up, you need to be constantly adjusting and your throttle thumb will be working yeah. hard to get this right. That's uh, probably the most used stick in all of this because the others I can keep nice and smooth but the throttle I need to keep making little adjustments here and there to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Let me just, I just, just want to go back here again just to double check there was no one down this track before I sort of use it as a approximately think these are great as well little things just to fly over and line up to but so I can come in here and you know this is sort of committing if you like because you know you don't want to go too high and that's going to force you not to go too high else you'd hit a tree 20. but if you are gonna do this proximity flying with trees always go under the tree if the worst happens you either hit the floor or Ten. you hit you know the bottom Nine. branch and crash Eight. down Seven. If you're doing Six, proximity flying five, over trees four, and you three, happen to hit one, two, you'll be stuck in a tree, one. which is, is not as good. But um, really your aim here is not about so much proximity flying, it's about throttle management. Being confident about being able to keep that throttle where it needs to be, being able to work the throttle as you need it in order to get uh, a nice smooth flying. So yeah, I mean, it's, it can be about flying proximity if you want to, but it's mostly just about flying in general, being able to keep it consistent, being able to keep it nice and smooth, being able to keep it exactly where you want to be at all times. So as I said, this is, this is really the, should have been the first in the video because it's, it's kind of all about control and, and gaining that extra control. Because if you have this, doing things like, you know, rolls and flips would be absolute doddle. This, this takes a little bit more work because you know 
we're not we're not trying to use height here as our friend we're trying to deliberately keep a very specific sort of altitude and attitude nice and smooth anyway Straight off. that is my battery done so I will come down and land of course any questions comments uh, suggestions shove them down below and I will read them all and uh, do things with them hopefully I'll catch you in the next video uh, bye bye for now well you've made it to the end of the video so thanks once again for watching if you like what you saw then please consider subscribing and if you really like what you saw then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel